Hey internet, for this video I'm going to show how to install a Skylake or KB Lake CPU into a motherboard. Installing any CPU is pretty straightforward, but I think it helps to see someone actually do it, hence why I made this video. I'm going to install an Intel Celeron G3900, a Skylake CPU, onto this MSI Z270 Gaming Plus board, a KB Lake motherboard. However, when installing a KB Lake CPU into a Z170 or below Skylake board, the motherboard may need a BIOS update to work with the CPU. Socket wise, they are identical. With that said, let's begin installation. Gently push down the lever and release it like so. When ready to install the CPU, lift the socket cover. Be careful not to touch the socket pins. Intel uses LGA style sockets, which means the pins are on the motherboard and the contacts are on the CPU. This is probably obvious, but just in case, the CPU goes into the socket such that the pins are touching the gold contacts. Note, both CPU and socket have some indications on the parts itself to guide its orientation. The bottom left gold arrow and the top side half circle indents. Note, there are half circle indents on both sides of the CPU. You can see the half circle on the motherboard socket. Once you have the correct orientation, without any force, gently place the CPU into the socket. If the CPU is seated correctly, it should look like this. The CPU should fit perfectly in the socket. Don't close the lock yet, while the plastic cover is still in place. Before locking the CPU socket, remove the plastic like so. It should pop right off when pushed from the back. With the plastic cover off, close the socket and relock the latch. Don't worry about putting too much pressure on the latch. As long as you are only pushing down on the latch and not the CPU itself, it won't get damaged. This is a top view of a properly seated CPU. If it looks like this, then you probably got it right. Here's a screenshot of CPU Z when I powered up this computer and installed Windows 10, just to show it actually boots, and the CPU was indeed installed on the motherboard properly. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, please give a like. If not, then do nothing. Thanks for watching.